Hello Cancer! I'm getting ready to do a general reading for the sign of Cancer. And I'm getting ready to set up the paranormal flashlights. <clears throat> Trying to train a new light. Um, and I don't know why I say it that way because Spirit has the light and they don't need trained. All right. Um, that is the little purple one. This one has already got dead batteries in it. All right. I guess we're going to go with the little purple one. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, if you're in the room, can I get you to take control of that flashlight? Turn it off for me, please. Give it a, a I see you're working it. Can you see the light? Yep, and if you have complete control of it, can you turn it clear off for me, please? All right. Well... I do think Spirit's got control of that light. I'm going to leave it on, and we will see what happens throughout the reading. It can come on either on or off throughout the reading, and it is just a general reading. Um, either way is not an affirmative or a negative response. It is just the fact that at that point, Spirit may turn the light off just to validate that um, it is in the conversation and vice versa. The same way as the energies... Um, in a reading can uh, not just be for you, but for the person that you're thinking about, or as a cross watcher, um, might be that energy. All right, Spirit, let's go. Um, can I get some jumpers for Cancer? Oh, right out of the chute there. We'll take that one. And if I could, while I'm shuffling, can I get you to drop down and hit that like button for me, please? Subscribe and share. All right. I'm going to take those two jumpers. And I will deal the rest. Two off the top and two off the bottom. All right, Cancer. <clears throat> a lot of growth has taken place for you, Cancer. Um, I can see where there's been some healing that has happened for you. Um, and it feels like it was right after an Eight of Wands moment. Now, the Eight of Wands is, you know, that can be a little bit of, that can be a little bit of a communication. It can be a miscommunication. In this case, it turned uh, actually jumped out. In the reverse so I feel like this is something that's already happened now you already separated yourself from something that um, you felt wasn't serving you it wasn't um, a direction you really wanted to go you kind of got a little bit tired of the five of wands always happening <laughs> are you up there girl get back there get tucked in there all right are you in Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, but you were kind of tired of this. Um, it was always a little bit too much work to get to the root of an issue. It, it, you know, with this other person, it wasn't like, what's bothering you today? Oh, it's just not a sunny day, okay? You couldn't get to the root of the issue that easily with this person. So that's why you chose to step away from... Um, this chaotic, confusing, got to labor at it. Mm, it was you're done with that kind of moving on, moving on. And you're absolutely well, it even shows in the eight of wands down there at the bottom on your bike getting out of town. Um, moving on with your life. Here we have the Knight of Cups. Um, somebody is coming in, there is quite possibly a new beginning with somebody that might be a little bit younger than you um or you could be young younger than them there's an age difference here and that doesn't make a difference um when you come in connection with somebody that uh there is a big age difference um where there's a big difference in religion or color and you don't see those things with that other person it's because you guys were past life soulmates. 
Um, and that's a situation that what's coming up here. This is a past life <coughs> person turning back up in your life. Um, we also have the Knight of Wands. Dude's coming in on a fast horse, too. You kind of like the showy uh, attitude of the new person. Somebody that stands out a little bit in the limelight because it gives you a little sense of pride. Like, ooh, that's mine. Um, ooh, that's mine. Uh, you, Cancer, are coming into a, a point in your life. Oh, that was a hair. I had to have it. Um, you're coming into a point in your life where you're feeling very confident, too, in yourself. Um, getting that solid foundation energy back under you. You're kind of at that uh, high priestess energy, actually. You're following your intuition. Um, strong intuition for you right now, Cancer, uh, with what's going on in the planetary alignments right now. You know, everybody's got a real heightened um, sense of intuition right now. Um, we are shifting into this uh, age of Aquarius, and that's kind of how things kind of were projected in a utopian time. You know, we were going to communicate a little easier. Um, things were just going to slip into a new state of being. Okay. I don't need to be doing a big, long prediction, but here we go, Cancer. <laughs> um, you are in the Six of Pentacles right now. You're feeling kind of, that's part of why your, your confidence is returning, because you're financially, you're able to um, not only take care of what you have going on, what you, bills you have going out, you're able to help others um, with a, a little gift here and there, Okay. We also have the Five of Cups came up in reverse for you. Um, so I am, in this case, feeling it's a lesser energy or a past energy that you really, and it showed up earlier, that you chose to walk away from something. You did see that there were, um, there was a history that you knew about with the person that you're leaving behind. You saw that history and you thought you could dial them into that new energy that you kind of see she's got the cups two behind her. Um, the three in the front were, they're kicked over their history. Uh, the two behind her, she was, that's what it was hoping for. That you would, or that person would evolve and it didn't happen. We also have the Ten of Wands, which says, bam, you are done carrying everybody else's burden. You don't need to. You're going to turn this over and let it go um, because you feel this new beginning is at a threshold um, because you're making and calling your own shots right now, um, not letting anybody else decide, not letting anybody else um, deter you. You're just kind of moving forward and doing what you need to do, and it is in perfect divine timing that you do that. Uh, here we have the Ace of Cups. Here in the uh, Ace of Cups, notice it's, that hand is coming out of the cloud. This is something you really can't control and you really can't stop. It's coming forward and it, then that's when the choice comes around. Once it gets to you and in front of you, you're going to have a choice to make. Uh, cancer, can I get a couple clarifiers for Cancer? And I'm going to use the archetype deck. You know what? I'm gonna put that one back in. It always, it always takes me like a, a shuffle or two to get the feel for this deck every time I, and it's because they're brand new yet. And I'm, you know, I haven't had them more than a couple months, um, and they're so slippery yet. All right, can I get a couple jumpers for cancer, please? Spirit, give me a jumper. I just need one more jumper for cancer. 
All right. Now, there were several that came out, but one turned up, and the rest of the pile is just out of the way. Okay. Bam, here we are. Uh, creator. You know, you've got the creator card that shows up for you here, Cancer. And this is not necessarily God as a creator or your God. This is you as a creator. You're taking control again. Um, calling, like I said, calling your own shots, making your own plans, headed the way you want to. You, and you are, you're the one that is in control. And we also have the river card. Um, the river is... Kind of into it intuitively, I'm getting that you just need to go with the flow. Don't fight against the stream. Um, don't try to make things happen too fast. Allow the flow to bring it to you. Um, there you go, Cancer. Wow. All right. And can I get one Oracle card, please, for Cancer to close out the reading? Kind of not a lot of response going on with the flashlight back there. There we go. Counselor. This is from the Archangel Azrael. And you are a natural counselor. Many people benefit from your guidance. Uh, yeah. Cancer people do come to you. Um, they often need your, your input and your help. And you have always been there for other people. In this particular reading, I think the counselor being yourself, or excuse me, the creator, um, and the counselor card go hand in hand. That is you calling the shots, working on yourself, um, getting it pulled together. All right, there you go, Cancer. Um, drop down, give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. Yeah, I kind of acting like uh, first day back at the job here. Um, and I never leave you guys, so I'll bless you with love and light. See you soon.